Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha and this morning I am cooking some oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies. So as you can see, my table is a mess. I've got all my ingredients laid out, um, my flour, my sugar, my oats, my raisins, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, vanilla, uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, my brown sugar, my raisins, I think I said that, and my eggs and my butter. I've let them get to room temperature. Um, and of course, my recipe uh, written down. Not my a recipe um, I got offline years ago. Don't honestly don't remember um, whose recipe it is. Um, it was just a recipe online, so I've been following it ever since. Um, yeah, oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies. They are so good. I've made them a million times, and I said, you know what? Let me go ahead since it's you know time for me to bake cookies again. Um, let me go ahead and do a little short video, show the guys how I make it. So, yep, I've got all my ingredients here, um, and I'll just kind of do like little bits and pieces of me making, you know, getting everything, the ingredients together. Uh, you know, guys, I don't like to make the videos too long. Um, so, all right, yep, getting ready to make some oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies, guys. This is what the table's looking like, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back and I have done the first part of my recipe. Well, it's not mine, but you know what I mean. First part of the recipe. Um, one cup of butter, room temperature. Beat butter to smooth. Add one cup of brown sugar. One third cup of white sugar. Beat and mix together. Add two large eggs. Um, one at a time, but as you guys can see, I've already thrown both the eggs in there. It doesn't really, it's not really that big of a deal. Put one egg in, you stir, you put in another egg. I just put them both in. And I'm just going to mix this all together. And this is in one bowl, pretty much like the wet ingredients, you know. So... I'm mixing this well and then we'll move on to the dry ingredient bowl and like I said guys I have a mix a mixer I do have a home you know a mixer an automatic mixer but me when it comes out of my cake when it comes out of baking uh, sometimes I use it it just depends but when I make my cookies you guys will see I also make homemade chocolate chip cookies um so, I'll be making that for you guys, too. So, you guys see, I, I like using a fork. I'm old school. I, I like using a fork. I like, you know, getting in there and stirring it up myself. Uh, let me add the teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of it. A vanilla. One teaspoon of the vanilla. So, I've added that. Mixing this all up. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Okay, once again, that's one cup of butter, room temperature. Beat butter till smooth. Add one cup of brown sugar, one third cup of white sugar. Beat mixed together. Add two large eggs, um, one tablespoon of vanilla, and mix well. That's what we're doing. I like getting in with my fork and mixing it myself. Making sure everything gets mixed, 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 mixed. Y'all see, when I do my cakes and I do my baking, I get down in there myself with my fork. Mix, 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 mix. It's a good workout, actually, for my arm. Good workout. Mix it all up. And sometimes I'll switch off like I'm gonna do right now. I will switch off. Got my little spoon over here. My little handy dandy spoon here from the Dollar Tree. Thank you Dollar Tree for a dollar. See, and I just take my spoon and mix it all up. Mix, 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 mix. That's all you're doing. Make sure you scrape that bottom. Make sure you get all that down there mixed real good too. 
Mix it all up. Scrape my sides, make sure everything getting mixed up. Make sure you get the top of your mix. Make sure you mix that too. I always bring my spoon up top and mix just that top part of my ingredients. Make sure they get mixed real well too. Okay. All right, so we've got that mixed well. All mixed up. We'll move this to the side. All right. In a separate bowl, and you guys see I just used the clear glass bowls. And a separate bowl, this is what we're going to do the dry. Um, in the separate bowl, we're going to do one and a half cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of brown cinnamon, whisk dry ingredients together. So we're just going to mix all these dry ingredients together. All right, so let's get started. Uh, one and a half cup of flour. Let's get our flour. Is it flour? Let's get that. One and a half cups of flour. Okay. Alright. We've got one cup of flour. One flour can be so messy. Alright. And half a cup. One and the half a cup of the flour. We got that. One tablespoon of bacon soda. All right, what is that? One tablespoon, let's see. Ah, one tablespoon of bacon soda. Right. One tablespoon. One tablespoon of the salt. Let's go ahead and get that get my salt open so I get that one tablespoon in there all right one tablespoon of salt it's in there all right okay one and a half cup of flour one tablespoon of baking soda one tablespoon of salt Half a tablespoon of brown cinnamon. Half a tablespoon. All right. We've got a half a tablespoon here. All right. And we've got the cinnamon. Okay. The cinnamon. Cinnamon. All right. Got that. Okay. Looking good. Make sure you guys can see. Get you guys in that bowl. There you go. All right, good, 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 good. You can see. All right. Cinnamon is in. Got vanilla, salt, got all that good stuff in. Okay, whisk together. Okay, let me get my fork cleaned off here. shall whisk it together we are getting ready to whisk our dry ingredients together all right okay make sure you guys can see it's a clear bowl you guys can see whisk together and we are whisking 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 uh -oh. Stay in the bowl, flour. Stay in the bowl. All right. Let's get it all mixed together. Oh, flour. Flour's being messy. Okay. Flour's getting everywhere. Okay. Let me get back over here so y'all can see. Whisk, 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 whisk together. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting this whisk together, and I'll be back to show you how we're going to. It says here, add dry mix to the wet mix. So I'll be back to show you guys that. 
Okay guys, I am back. I have added my wet and dry ingredients and as you can see, I have mixed them together. Let's get over here so you guys can see. So I have mixed them together, uh, the wet and dry. So now it is time to add my oats. I am adding three cups of oats. All right, let me see here. I've got my oats here. And you guys can use, you know, any type of oats that you want. Um, I use the uh, Quaker oats. I use those. Those are really good. Um, in the blue, the blue container, uh, the Quaker oats. I think they're called the Old Fashioned Oats. Let me see. Let me look at the container. It is the Quaker oats. show you guys the ones I use. I use the Quaker Oats Old Fashioned. Quaker Oats Old Fashioned. These are the oats that I use. Alright. Got the oats back in the cabinet. Okay, and we're adding three, three cups of oats to our mix. So, let me get these oats poured in my cup measuring thing here. Okay. One cup. Whoa, it's loading. Two cups of oats. And last but not least, our third cup of oats. Okay. Three cups of oats. All right, so now that we've added our wet and dry mix, um, we're gonna add three cups of oats. That's what I just did. Gonna mix well. And then we're gonna add one cup of raisins. I just slowly get the oats mixed into the mix here. Only get them mixed in. Alright. I'm just kind of folding them in so they can get in there quicker. I remember when I was learning how to cook and I was following this recipe where it said to fold. I don't know what it was I was cooking, probably some cookies or something. And it said to fold in the chocolate chips. I was like, fold, what? What you mean fold, fold them in? So I thought that was funny. Now that I know what it means, of course. Fold them in, you just kinda like, you know, kinda fold in like this, like that. All right. So we got our three cups of oats mixed in. Let's do our one cup of raisins. And I have, of course, one of the most famous raisins, the sun-made raisins. I got the Publix raisin too, child. Anyway, whatever raisins you wanna use, use them. Anyway, I just have these, some leftover sun-made raisins. And I also have Publix raisins in the cabinet too, so I just wanted to use these up before I open my Publix raisins. Use whatever raisins you want. Use whatever oats you want. So, it don't matter. Alright, one cup of oats. One cup, I'm sorry, three cups of oats we've already put in. Now we're putting in our one cup of raisins. Get these raisins in here. Just getting my raisins in my cup thing here. Alright, make sure they all separated. Okay, and our one cup of raisins. And here is where I put in my chocolate chips. Putting in the chocolate chips. Putting our raisin and chocolate chips in. We got one cup of raisins. I do one cup. I do one cup of raisins and I do one cup of chocolate chips. 
Okay, so, all right, we got all that in there. And this is the part where you fold. I'm gonna fold the raisins in and the chocolate chips in. Just gonna fold them in. This is what they mean when they say fold. You just, just, just kind of overlapping it in, mixing them in. Looks yummy. Smells yummy. Just fold them in. Making sure they're getting all in there. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the um, getting this fold in, and I'll be back. We'll be training these cookies up to get them in the oven. Okay, guys. I am back, ready to tray up my oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies. All right, and you guys see uh, what I did with my mix. What I always do after I make my cookie mix, um, I always put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, just so it can kind of thicken and pasting itself together, you know, kind of make it thick. Um, that is, that's a real trick, good trick I learned um, from watching the cooking channels. Um, I always put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. So it kind of, you know, hardens it up, stiffens it up, and um, helps your cookies go all nice and fluffy. So, and as you guys can see, I'm just using a little tiny ice cream scooper. I don't know what this is, one inch, I don't know y'all. Um, just a little tiny one. You know, a little small ice cream scooper. And you guys can see, I'm just dropping it on the tray. Dropping it on a tray like that. All right, and I space them out because of course you guys know they're gonna spread. I'm gonna spread them, I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, let me see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I can. Nah, I don't, I don't like to overdo it. So, let me see. I might be able to squeeze one over here. Squeeze one over here. And I'm gonna try to squeeze one over here. I should be able to do that. All right, now after I get through traying them up, I do two trays at a time. Um, and after I tray them up, I go ahead and put them in the oven. I have my oven set at 350 degrees um, and I bake them for 10 minutes. Now, let me show you guys a trick. I wet my hands and I, I push the mix down and shape it into little cookies. That's all I do. Let me wet my hands again. Make sure your hands are wet. And I just smash them down like that into little cookie shapes. And of course, as they, you know, bake, they'll spread a little bit more. But that's how I do. Just push down on them, make little cookie shapes. And I'll bring that in so you guys can see. All right, let me show you guys. All right, simple. See how I did that? I've got them all nicely trayed up. And I just take my fingers and just push them down to kind of, you know, give them little cookie shapes. And of course, they'll spread out as they cook. And I wet my fingers so that my fingers don't stick to the uh, oatmeal mix. And as you guys can see, my mix over here out of the refrigerator. Um, I'll go ahead and do two trays. Once again, guys, 350 degrees. I'll bake them for about 10 minutes. Um, I'll turn their brown across the top. Usually in my stove, I've done these cookies a million times. 350 for 10 minutes in my stove. Um, so you'll have to, you know, see your stove temperature and all that other good stuff. But I'll do two trays of cookies at a time. And then um, while my cookies are baking, my mix will be in the refrigerator. I keep it in the refrigerator. I'll bring it out to tray up cookies. And then I'll put it back in the refrigerator. That way it's staying nice and cool. I'm telling you guys, it's a trick that I learned. Helps your cookies. Because sometimes cookies don't rise and they stay flat, are they? But this is a little trick that I learned from watching the cooking channels. So I keep my uh, mix, my batter mix, my cookie mix in the refrigerator. While I'm, you know... In between so all right guys I'll go ahead and do my second tray um, I'll go ahead and get these in the oven 
and when they're coming out of the oven, I'll let you guys see how they are. All right, guys, I will be back. Okay, guys, we are back, and I just took our first two trays of oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookies out of the oven, trying to get some good light over here. But this is why I normally put the cookies to cool off, you know, right here on the bar. So let's see if I can get some good light here for you guys. And as you can see, they look amazing. 350 degrees, guys, for 10 minutes in my stove. That's all it took. And like I said, I've made these cookies a million times. Give you guys a nice look. You can see the oats and the raisins and the chocolate chips. Look at them, guys. They turn out perfect. I set them up here. Give you guys another good look there. Set them up here on the bar. Let them cool off. And what I do is I go ahead and I've already got my little cookie container ready. Got this from the Dollar Tree, guys. A dollar. So I already got it ready. When they cool off, I transfer them over here. Yeah, guys, that's it, guys. That is my famous chocolate chip oatmeal raisin cookies. My girls, they love these. I make them all the time. I said I'm going to record it next time I make them. That's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, of course, you know, by now, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.